Taurus, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is the first half of December love reading. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> For Taurus, so Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter. So just a heads up, uh, my car is getting worked on. I needed work done on it very last minute, very unexpectedly. So I've been doing that a lot today. So it's also put me behind schedule a little bit even more. <laughs> And I'm waiting for Sedona in a couple days, guys. So for those of you who are waiting on the rest of the earth signs and water signs, they're coming as I get time to do them, okay, in the next few days. And I probably will have to do some of these in uh, Sedona, and I was planning on not doing readings. Eh, but shit happens, right? But anyway, Taurus, so my point was, if the video gets interrupted by a phone call from uh, from the guys working on my car, then I gotta stop and take the call, okay? So Taurus, let's go right into your meditative session. I picked up on some really good shit, some really good shit. I heard money bags, I heard pot of gold. Um, excuse me, <clears throat> I was getting a very like big boss kind of energy Taurus, so maybe even throwing your weight around, but you're getting a lot of respect from people and you're just rocking it, like that's just so you, that's so your thing. Um, I was also getting a very primal energy too. I was like literally like very, very primal, like caveman almost, not like, not in an unsexy way, in a very sexy way. Some of you guys could be, you know, seeing a very rustic individual. Um, or I feel like some of you guys are actually gonna be meeting. I feel like some of you guys are gonna be meeting a rustic individual or for any of my cross watchers, you might be surprised. You might actually be meeting another Taurus because that's very Taurian energy. Taurian energy if I can talk um maybe you guys are gonna be spending some time in the woods but very primal getting back to nature some of you guys are are actually harnessing your inner animal here we're all animals at the end of the day we're humans we're animals it is what it is some people don't some people forget that some people forget that and there's something about your primal instincts that's being highlighted here Taurus that's really helping you a lot and I just feel a lot of like money pentacles around you <clears throat> If it's not money, uh, you're getting a really nice clean bill of health. Some of you guys are feeling wealthy or rich in your confidence or even just having a lot of your own time back. Some of you recently have had a lot of your own time back. Um, oh, time also did come up. I forgot. Time also did come up. Time heals everything. This is actually what I got. Time heals everything, Taurus. Um, so if you've been having a rough situation at work or in a relationship or with your family, just some time has been needed to kind of dissipate some of the toxicity. It's almost like the toxicity has been slowly eating, uh, been eaten away at over time. And I think there's still more time needed for whoever that's for. Definitely think there's still more time needed there. Um, I feel like it's fear. Like fear and ego has been needing to like slowly be eaten away at. Slowly, 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 slowly. For those where this is in the workplace, work is doing awesome. Work, work is awesome for you guys, okay? Uh, you're rocking it at work. You're feeling great about your work, especially for those who own your own business. You're really in that, like owning that emperor head honcho. Yeah, I'm in charge. Yeah, that's right. I'm a, like, I'm a, yeah, that's right. You answered me. <laughs> you're just really liking it and you're really happy right now, Taurus, too. You're really, really happy. But keep in mind, you want to harness those primal instincts they're really beneficial right now they kept bringing that up they kept bringing that up for you guys so just keep owning that okay all right Taurus. so let's go ahead <clears throat> ah after some water mm. <laughs> i just heard swag someone's got some swag going on <laughs> oh my god Taurus. okay sorry i'm getting another download with that someone likes the way someone walks Taurus, weirdly we're going here. Someone likes the way someone walks or like watching how someone walks. Oh, that's so funny. Watching how someone walks. Watch watching from behind specifically. Taurus, let's just get into your pre-shuffle here. Uh, those who are new to tarot, new to my channel, I'm going to go over a little bit of like guidelines when we get to uh, the actual tarot reading. But there's a video down below for anybody who's really, really new to tarot. I really recommend you watch it. It'll just help you understand tarot readings in general a little bit better, like more than just my stuff. Just in general, it's a nice little helping hand, okay? A little bit of a crash course. I'm thinking about updating it too. I might update it when I have time. <laughs> when I have time. Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, I'm hearing climb. It could be climbing the corporate ladder. Definitely indicative of the energy I was feeling. If that's you, you're, you're at the tippy top. <laughs> or you feel like you're at the tippy top. You just feel damn good. You feel damn good. You feel so good right now, Taurus. Some of that is because of a person, romantically. <laughs> Getting a lot of sexual energy with that. Some of y'all just really enjoying it so 
Good for you, whoever that is. Quite jelly over here. Okay, anyway. Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Black book? Jesus, what is all this? It's like, I'm getting all these like sexual things and dating references. Black book. I just heard black book. Oh, someone's getting rid of their black book. Now, a, a lot of us don't have a black book anymore because we have phones. Um, but someone's not needing numbers anymore. Oh, okay, okay. Someone's being taken off the market. That's cool, that's cool. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Oh, oh sorry guys, my ears. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Taurus. Ooh, we have a hair of fun verse. Thinking outside the box, Taurus. Oh, I like it. You're going about shit in all kinds of different ways. Uh, very, like, rebellious energy. That's very not Taurian, actually. It's very not Taurian. I'm getting very untraditional. Yeah, whatever it is that you're doing, Taurus, uh, the way you're going about it, the way you're pursuing someone, or even a relationship or commitment you're coming into, it's very atypical. It's very atypical and it's like it, your own rules. You're doing shit by your own rules. Oh, Taurus, I love it. Oh, sorry, I hit my coffee cup. <laughs> doing shit by your own rules. Page of Wands, and they're the new ideas. The new creative out of the box ideas. Taurus, this is beautiful energy. It's really working for you too. It's really working for you. You're being really creative. You might even be surprising people with some of the ideas that you have if you're, you know, this is happening at work or in your own business, but your own rules, your own way of doing things. Who cares if it's not by the book? Who gives a shit? Oh, Taurus. Who am I talking to? That's weird. Why Why do I feel Tyler from Tyler's Tarot all of a sudden? That's so weird. That's so weird. All of a sudden, I felt his energy come in. That's very crazy. Do not tell Tyler that. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I was like, anyway. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know his chart. I don't know. That's crazy. Oh, I need to get out of that. Hold on. I need to get out of that. Okay. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Let's see what we have here. Oh, boy. Got the tower with the high priestess. Shit, you're cooking. Taurus, I don't know what you're cooking up, but you're cooking something. And we, ha okay, Taurus, this feels really familiar. I see a high priest and a high priestess here. Yep, I see a high priest and a high priestess. And Taurus, I feel like you're in this energy, cooking something up, not going by your own rules, not doing shit by the book, not doing shit, shit, shit in a traditional way. And you're being very creative about it. You got a lot of new ideas here. And Page of Wands is also communication. Now I see a high priestess energy over here experiencing a tower moment. I feel like whatever it is you're cooking up, it involves another person of your caliber, another person of your standing here. You two can be very spiritual. I mean, high priest and high priestess doesn't get more high ranking than that as far as uh, spirituality is concerned. But I feel like you're bringing in this tower moment to a high priestess. It doesn't feel bad. It feels very positive. It feels very positive. She's kind of minding her own business, though. She's got her head up in her book. Like, she's, she's minding her own business. Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Mm, Ten of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy. I feel like you're doing this to change an unhappy situation. Yeah, you're doing this to change an unhappy situation, whether this is someone you're in a relationship with or that you're not on good terms with um, or someone that you are in business dealings with, whatever it is, there's been kind of a lot of unhappiness going on and you're changing the game. You're changing shit. You're being very proactive here and you're having to be out of the box to do it and you're causing a tower moment for this person. All right, so Taurus, let's go ahead. 
get into your actual reading here. So for those who are new to tarot or new to my channel, please know messages are very, very general. We're reading for thousands of people here on YouTube, okay? So they ain't gonna be for everybody. So if it's not your message, that's okay. Don't need to throw hate or shade. Check out any other reader on YouTube. We got a lot of really great ones, okay? Also, guys, we are working with energy, so just know, yes, the messages can be reversed or vice versa. If it's resonating with you, you already know who you are in the story. Um, also, on that note, we all have masculine and feminine energy, so don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. Um, nothing is gender specific. We read energy, not gender, okay? Also, this is the first half of December, but whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it because time is not linear either, okay? Any other questions or curiosities or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, please check out the link below. Like I said, definitely will help out some of my newbies. And thank you for checking out the premiere, by the way. All right, so let's get into this. Any messages for Taurus? By the way, for those who are, I feel like you guys are asking about this deck. Uh, it's the Santa Muerte. Santa, I can't pronounce that. Santa Muerte deck. I, what, I can't talk today. But all the links for my decks are below. If you want them for yourselves, get them all on Amazon. Any messages for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus? Regarding love for the first... Why am I getting a somber energy now? That's interesting. I feel like that's someone else. I feel like that's someone else's energy. Uh, any messages for Taurus regarding love for the first half of December? Oh, it's very sad. It's very heavy. It's very sad. Um, and they're actually showing me a weird visual. And I feel like it's just symbolic of what this person is feeling. It feels really emotional. It's like I'm actually seeing someone like walking through like a garden or a park at night. Like very slow, very somber. But they're alone it's like thinking to themselves like really heavy contemplation i feel some guilt there too they're in a lot of darkness right now whoever this is whoever this is any messages for taurus and overthinking a lot overthinking a lot any messages for taurus regarding love for the first half of december any messages for taurus Any messages for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus regarding love for the first half of December, please? Let's see what we got here. Ooh, we've got a hermit in reverse. Wake up. Why did I just hear that? I just heard, wake up. Virgo energy here. Taurus, I feel like you're coming out of a hermit mode and you're like ready to get up and go. It's like you've got a lot of energy. I can feel you've got so much freaking energy and you're just going to a creative with it. You're creating stuff with it. You're getting the ball rolling. You're being very proactive and getting things done that you want to get done and building, building things up that need to be built. Interesting. You could have gone through a period of like, oh, so you guys were really sick. I don't know why I'm getting that. I'm getting like physical, physical recovery. Some of you guys really needed that. Are some of you guys in the hospital? Like, what is this? Sorry, I'm getting all kinds of shit right now. Um, I am getting the energy of doctors, like medical attention. Well, either way, you're fine, okay? <laughs> you're fine, you got through it, you're doing good. Some of this was just taking a time out from other people, but it, it, yeah, it just, it's recovery. It's recovery, first and foremost. But you're getting up, you got a lot of energy. Keep in mind, this can be uh, someone you're connecting with. You know who you are in the story. Any other messages for Taurus? The chair, what did I just say? You're getting up and going. The chariot, can't see your energy. Yeah, you're up. You're up. It's like you have five espressos. You're up and you're ready to go. Uh, nine. Yeah. <laughs> I love this deck, but it's like, it's hard to see. Plus I'm blind. Anyway, nine of cups in reverse. Piscean energy. Yeah, you're ready to get up and go the shit that's not making you happy. You, in this recovery energy, you spent some time like, damn, like, I want this to go differently. I thought this was going to pan out differently. I want this, that, or the other. So let me get my butt up and go and do it and make shit happen. Nice, Taurus. Very nice. Any other messages for Taurus? Any other messages for Taurus for the first half of December? Any other messages for Taurus regarding love for the first half of December? Wow. Ten of Swords in a verse, Gemini energy. Well, you're definitely putting an end to some shit. You're, yeah, you're, doing, you're putting an end to anything that makes you unhappy. Anything, anyone, any circumstances, and you're changing it. I just heard no excuses. Any messages for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus 
I'm hearing instincts again. Yeah, you're letting your instincts guide you. And if you're struggling with that, let your gut tell you what to do, Taurus. Tauruses usually have really good instincts. Any messages for Taurus regarding love for the first half of December? And then we get the Page of Pentacles. There's the new, right? That new perspective, new way of doing things. Also a study energy. I'm getting research. Getting research here. Ooh. Overall, we got seven of swords. Wow, with the ten of cups in reverse. Okay. Taurus, whatever this shit is that's making you unhappy, it could even be a betrayal with this kind of energy. It could be a betrayal or something or someone that was betraying your happiness. Okay, so just take it as it resonates. The seven of swords with ten of cups in reverse, I mean, that's some nasty shit. And you got the ten of swords in reverse with the nine of cups in reverse. I mean, for some, there could, it could have been a little bit of depressive energy, which is why you needed to lay down and recover. <laughs> lay down. Lay down and recover. Uh, for some, it could have even been um, drinking. Oh, interesting. Overindulgence. Thank you. Overindulgence. You gave in. You gave in. You let overindulgence creep in. Oh. And now you're really unhappy about it. Yeah, some of this is just about self-sabotaging behaviors and patterns. And you're like, oh, no, fuck that. I, I need to change this right now. Let me go and figure this out on how I can change that. I don't need to be doing that to myself anymore. Okay. A lot of energy, though. Um, for some of you, it is about um, a possible betrayal or sabotage from someone else who did something to you, causing you to go into recovery mode. And now you're getting up and going. And you're like, all right, I'm going to go figure this shit out. And others, you're just cutting away anything that just makes you unhappy. So decide how that resonates for you. But let's go and look at the Hermit in reverse. See what's going on with that. Um, what deck do I want? Let's do um, Radiant Wise. Talk about the Hermit in reverse. Wow, actually, I think these have the same exact lamination. <laughs> it's like, wow, it feels almost exactly the same. I never realized. Talk about the Hermit in reverse. For Taurus, the first half of December, tell me this time in reverse, please. Tell me about this recovery period. Tell me about the Hermit in reverse. Oh, Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries, can be fire or water. It's a very ingenuous energy I'm getting with that. So like I said... I almost called you ears. <laughs> so like I said, Taurus, this energy of that seven of swords, ten of swords, some of you, it was shit you were doing that you knew it was unhealthy for you. It was sabotaging your own happiness, whatever it was, toxic patterns, what, what have, whatever. It could have been rooted in inauthenticity, if that's even a word, ingenuous, ingenuous, ingenuous patterns, okay? Not being yourself, um, not being authentic to who you are and your needs. Some of you, that's just, this is just between you and you, Okay. Uh, where it's between you and another person, you were dealing with someone who's very fake. Very fake and a very jealous energy. Talking about the Hermit in Reverse. And that puts you that, that puts you down for the count. It's exhausting. Death in Reverse. Scorpion. Yeah, I'm getting resistance. Yeah, for those where you were dealing with another person. Oh. It... Sorry, I'm not liking this energy. For those who are dealing with another person, uh, I feel like they really exhausted you, really drained your energy. Um, I'm just getting really resistant, really stubborn. It's like wanting to bang your head against a wall. It drained you, just fucking drained you. And it's like, I, I can't I can't do this shit. Like, I gotta, I gotta recover. I gotta go and recover. For those where it's between you and you, this is that resistance to change, to to being more in your authentic energy, to being more into who you actually are. And to getting getting away from any kind of behaviors, any patterns that was sabotage, sabotaging your own happiness. <laughs> Time out the hermit in reverse. Time out the hermit in reverse. For Taurus. This person could have actively betrayed you. Taurus, this person could have actively betrayed you. So be mindful of that. Come with the Hermit in reverse. Come with the Hermit in reverse. Come with the Hermit in reverse. Ooh, we got a Three of Cups energy. Can't Syrian energy. Just getting people with this. I don't. 
Yeah, I mean, why am I feeling exhausted with this? I shouldn't feel exhausted with this. Three of Cups is usually like a like a nice energy. It's like it's having a lot with a lot of people. It's having joy with people. It's party. It's social hour. Um, but why am I feeling like it's draining? I feel like it's just fucking draining. Some of you could have been overindulging in drinking here or too much partying or just anything that made you feel really good. And it's like, okay, I need to like not do that shit. <laughs> I need to start changing that shit. I'm sabotaging my own happiness. I, I shouldn't be doing that. Um, but for those who are dealing with another person, they could have had a third party, especially with the Seven of Swords and the freaking Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups in reverse and Nine of Cups in reverse. It could have been a third party situation here because I feel if you were dealing with another person who was really um, exhausting you and draining you, they really have their own self-interest, like a lot of self-interest and definitely fake definitely fake and i do think they like a lot of attention talking about the hermit in reverse overall energy yep that page of pentacles <laughs> you take a look at shit like oh this needs to change now this needs to change now so let's go ahead and look at the chariot and see what you decide to do you get up and go man i feel a major burst of energy you needed that time out it's it's serving you well taurus <laughs> serving you well Keep in mind, we all work through energy differently at different rates and in different ways. Um, so you could be way past this energy or you could be like way behind this energy. So just know that as well. Okay. I'm going to use Cosmic for this one, actually. Time about the Chariot. Time about the Chariot. Yeah, for some of you, this is just between you and you, you were putting too much money and feeling good. Like, you know, overindulgence, you're Venus, you're Venusian, right? It's just, it is what it is. Um, you're putting too much money and resources into that and not enough into future endeavors. And that's what you're changing. Some of you guys are moved. Yeah, I'm getting moving with that chariot, actually. More sustainable. And, oh, I'm hearing cost effective. More sustainable and cost effective. Talk about the chariot. Time of the Chariot for Taurus for the first half of December. <laughs> Hair font in reverse. Taurian energy, like I said, out of the box. Your own rules. Not giving a shit about what other people think. Because you got to take care of yourself. Exactly. You do got to take care of yourself, Taurus. Time about the uh, Chariot. Wow, four of wands in reverse Aries energy. Yeah, you could have broken away from a relationship or a commitment. This is breaking commitments. You could have even broken away from a job or deciding to break away from a job, just deciding it's it's too toxic for you or it doesn't do enough for you. This person who is very ingenuous uh, could have been in the workplace, making your life way harder than it had to be. But yeah, it's just wherever you were, whatever you're leaving behind, the patterns that you... Sorry, where are my words? <sighs> the patterns and behaviors that have been self-sabotaging or just really sabotaging your happiness or just not in your highest good or don't align with who you truly are, that shit, or if you're dealing with another person here who is very ingenuous, very fake, have their own self-interest at heart, even at like a bit of an attention whore a little bit. For some of you, this person relied on you for finances or was just interested in you for finances. What out of the group of that, out of the bag of that, whatever applies to you, it was in, it was unstable. It was unstable. And you're like, fuck no, I need to get out of that. I need to get away with that. Get away from that. <laughs> mm. That was the post shadow over yet. <laughs> All right. Time about the chariot. Tell me more about the chariot. You guys know what I'm saying. Even if my mouth doesn't work. Tell me about the chariot. That really wants to come out. Oh, there's the emperor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you, you just couldn't stay anymore. You couldn't hang around for this shit. You couldn't deal with this person anymore. Or like you realize that these behaviors... We're not aligned with who you really are and not aligned with your higher self. And it actually was causing you a lack of peace, a lack of peace, a lot of instability. And it's like, I got to think out of the box like this isn't for me. And, you know, maybe you tried to do something that was traditional, you know, or something that, you know, most people do or a kind of relationship that most people would expect you to be in. And you're like, oh, yeah, this is not this. This shit don't work. 
This shit don't work. Overall energy, we have King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. I mean, yeah, it's just like emo uh, emotional roller coaster. It threw your emotions off. It threw you out of balance. Threw you off balance here. Yeah, you have like, you had no love for the situation anymore. No love for the situation anymore. And for those where it's just like your own behaviors were getting in your way of your happiness, it wasn't making you feel good. It wasn't emotionally nourishing you, whatever these habits were. It just feels very devilish, which could be anything. That could be codependency. That could be vices, like drinking, like drinking or partying, eating, <laughs> video games, vices. Okay, vices. <laughs> Underneath that, we do have the nine of swords. Yeah, see? Oh, wow. Nine of swords with the ten of pentacles in the verse. Yeah, for some of you, whatever these habits were, or if you're reasoning with this person and getting away from them, it feels like it was a money drain. Definitely feels like it was a money drain or a time drain. Yeah, if you're dealing with a very fake person, they drained your they drained your energy, first of all. They drained your energy. They also took up a lot of your time. And for some, they took a lot of your money. Because that's what they were interested in. They like a lot of attention. And you were just like, yeah, I can't do this anymore. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I don't have peace. And there's a lot of instability for me and I don't want it. Taurus, so there, if there's one thing you hate, it's instability. Um, and for those who are just between you and you, whatever these habits have been, I do feel like it is rooted in codependency. I gotta be honest. Rooted in codependency are some wounds that you do have. Um, and for some, like I said, it just was causing a lot of instability. For others, it was actually a money drain. If it was like, you know, maybe it was a substance problem or maybe it's something that requires a lot of money that just makes you feel really damn good. Either way, it wasn't for your highest good and you know it. And you're like, okay, time to change, time to change this shit. And once you go into that recovery hermit mode to go through that and to deal with that, it's like, get up and go and on to the next, on to the next to get more stability back into your life. Very proactive. I like it. I really like it, Taurus. Um, I'm more curious about this page of pentacles because this is you like analyzing the situation and trying to figure out what to do next and how to uh, get more stability in your life. All of this shit, that's what you're leaving behind. So I'm not super interested in that. And at first others where you're dealing with a person, that's the betrayal. The betrayal or like the crap they were doing to you or bringing into your life that really made you lose your happiness and your inst and your stability. So let's look at the Page of Pentacles and then we'll pull some Oracle cards. I'm feeling the Haunted deck. I really like the Haunted deck. Let's do it. Throw the Page of Pentacles. Throw the Page of Pentacles. For Taurus. Another page of pentacles for Taurus for the first half of December. Start with the page of pentacles for Taurus for the first half of December. Ah, very nice. The king of pentacles. There you are, Taurus. This is the Taurian court card. It can also be earth. Or air, look at you sitting on your throne. You're wondering how to get back to this, how to get back to a king size. I feel like it's back. I feel like you've been here before, but this person fucking drained you of your money or your time or your energy or all the above or a combination of it. Um, and others, it's self-sabotaging behavior that you're like, all right, I'm doing myself a disservice. I, I can be better. I can be better. I can be better. And I feel like you're going to get there very quickly, very quickly. Time about the Page of Pentacles for Taurus for the first half of December. All right, let's see. What I got. Oh, I've got a couple peekers here. So I knew I saw them. I'm so blind. Wands. <laughs> Six of Wands in a verse, Jupiter Leo energy, and then the Hair Font in a verse, Taurian energy here. You're just like, how do I make this foolproof? How do I make this foolproof so I can't fail? I know I have to think outside the box. I know I have to do it my own way, my own rules. They're so Torian. It's like, my way or the highway. Taurus, I love you. I love you to death. But you know, sometimes you guys can be like that. It's my way or the highway, but how do I do it so it's like a foolproof plan? I'm telling you, you're going to figure it out. You're going to figure it out. You're just really being methodical about it. Especially if this is just business related. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Some 
the Page of Pentacles. Whoa, okay. Oh yeah, you're gonna be just fine. Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. This is feeling really good about your decision. That's what I'm getting with that. Feeling really good about your decision. Five of Wands in reverse, Leo Energy. You're not conflicted about it. You're getting away from drama. You're getting away from anything that's draining because you're putting you first. You're putting your happiness first. And that's exactly what you should do. And then we have Temperance with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So even if you have a little instability, even if you lost money or time or energy because of this person or because you fell into some of your vices and overindulged, and overindulged a little bit, you're, you're going to be fine. You're balancing shit out. It's just a matter of time till you recoup recoup what you've lost is what I'm getting. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's just a matter of time before you recoup what you've lost, whether it was money or your energy. You can't take, you can't get back time, but money and energy, you're, you're going to recoup it. And as far as your, your status, for some of you, it's a status. It's a status thing. You're going to be just fine. Overall energy, we do have the devil in reverse. Beautiful Capricorn energy. Yeah, that's that toxic shit that this person was bringing into your life or the self-sabotaging behaviors rooted in codependency and wounds is what I was really feeling for you guys. And for some, it's just overindulging in vices and addictions and things like that. Yeah, you're going to be just fine, Taurus. I like this reading. It's beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some advice here. Hmm. <clears throat> Any advice for Taurus? Any advice for Taurus regarding the spread? Keep in mind, guys, it can be vice versa, like I said. <clears throat> this could be someone that you're dealing with or someone just in your environment or in your life or someone who's thinking about you. This person seems to really feel self-focused, so I feel like it's just someone in your environment. Any advice for Taurus? If it's not you, of course. Any advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Any advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Oh, what did I say? Reclaim your power with the master number 44. You're going to be just fine. You're taking control of the situation as you should, Emperor. <laughs> like I said, Emperor is a Taurus card for me. Anyway. Um, reclaiming your power, getting back that control of your life, making shit happen, making shit happen. No excuses. Your words, not mine. That's what you guys told me. No excuses. Any other advice? Oh, awesome. Squirrel spirit. Believe in yourself. 57. That breaks down to a three. Yeah. Having the confidence to do it, having the confidence to go there and not stopping, not letting anyone stop you to get back to your stability or recoup what you've lost energetically or financially. Any other advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Any advice? Nice. Fox spirit, think on your feet. Like I said, thinking out of the box. You're going to be, be really smart about this and you're making your own rules as you do it. Excuse me. Making your rules, going about it in your own way, not following the crowd. Like I said, that's the smart thing for you. I feel like that's what's going to work for you in this particular situation. Jesus. Okay. Well, I guess that would have to come out after the fox. Pig spirit, use your mind wisely. It's an energy of 11 here. Again, playing it smart. Not just with your intuition, but instincts. Remember, not just following your instincts, but just common sense. Common sense and what's the, the most logical thing to do for you in your particular situation. Taurus, you're getting a lot of advice. Electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. 24 breaking down to a six. Uh, why am I getting instincts again with this? This is manifestation energy. Ma again, making it happen, being very proactive. You already know you can do it. You're already very confident, <laughs> very confident. And you have the energy backing you. You're playing it smart and you're thinking outside the box in order to make it happen. And you're manifesting it. You're manifesting it by putting action into it. Any other advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Any other advice for Jesus? Any other advice for Taurus regarding this spread? All right, so I got a few more cards out here. Yeah, beautiful. Grasshopper, eagle, and lion. Be generous of spirit. Spirit has your back and take a leap of faith. We have another three. 
Uh, we have a five, and then we've got a cyclical energy here. So Grasshopper Spirit's the, Air the, the Aries card. <laughs> the Fool card, which is very Aries to me. So you guys could be a cusper here. But that's basically going for it. Going for it. Spirit's supporting you. Spirit is supporting you. Spirit's got your back. You could even have some guides here trying to help you along with this. And you're just making, you're changing your path. You're changing your path. You're changing your circumstances. You're making it happen. You're confident in doing it. You're playing it really smart. You're going to be fine. You're going to be very fine. I'm also hearing be grateful. That's interesting. I'm hearing be grateful. For some, there might be a little bit of a pride thing going on here. So just watch that. Watch that ego. Watch that ego. Um, you're making it happen. So I'm not even worried about you. You're going to be just fine. But maybe for some of you feel like this is kind of unfair. They're in this situation that you're having to do this. I'm just getting a little bit of like a pride ego issue, a little bit of like a wounded ego. So just be mindful. Spirit's got you. They want this to happen for you. They're working with you. You just got to take that leap of faith, play it smart, and be confident and take control of the situation because you are making it happen and manifesting it. Overall, we do have Canary Spirit. Sing your own song. Live by live by your own truth. That's what I'm getting with that. Live by your own truth here. For some of you where this is self-sabotaging behaviors, it's because of enough... In, uh, uh, <laughs> not... Not... not living in your highest good or for your highest good why is it so hard to say um but yeah just being being your who you are owning who you are standing in your truth living by your truth if you're always living by your truth and who you are you can't go wrong you can't go wrong here okay um also if you have to deal with this queen of wands for those who are dealing with a person they got to get away from because they're fucking draining you of your money or your time or your resources whatever it is um time to just tell them Get the get lost. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> time to just time to just tell them like, yeah, we're done. Can't have you in my life. Can't be around you. Can't work with you. Can't have you at the family dinner. Whatever it is, you just gotta tell them the truth here about this, okay? But I feel like it's after you come up with an action plan and how to go about it. So, Taurus, I hope you guys found this helpful and insightful. Don't forget to go on Patreon, Vimeo, and Instagram, and I will see you guys later, okay? Have a really great night, Taurus. And oh, hope you guys had a really great holiday as well. Namaste.